Hello and welcome to Easy Projects. So, today we will make a loudspeaker. The one we are going to make will not look like this one, but it will work exactly the same. I will explain how it works and we will try to play some music on it once we have built it. So, let's get started. So, the way a loudspeaker works is very, very simple. We have a coil here, and when we put an AC signal across this coil, it will produce an alternating magnetic field in the coil. So if we put a magnet either inside or outside of this coil, with the north pole in the top, south pole in the bottom, or it could be the other way around, that doesn't matter. Then we have effectively created a loudspeaker. We just need to add a cone. So the bottom part of the cone will join the coil and the cone will be on the top. And since the magnet is held in place by the frame here, only the cone can move, and that is what produces the sound. So when the input signal is alternating between plus and minus, then the coil will move up and down because of the permanent magnetic field of the magnet. And this will produce sound waves. So let's get on to the build. We'll need a regular piece of paper some very thin paper. This is used for wrapping around food. Super glue. A piece of cardboard. We will need some copper wire. The finer the better. And this has to be enameled copper wire. And you may not have that, but inside old electronic equipment you can find coils or chokes like these, and that will be enameled copper wire. You just have to use as fine wire as possible. And a soldering iron. And I almost forgot, you will of course need a magnet. And the important thing is that it has a north pole in one end and a south pole in the other end. Some magnets will be split down the middle and uh, that cannot be used. Start by cutting a strip of regular paper as wide as your magnet. We will use this paper as a spacer so it will be removed later on. Wrap the paper around the magnet and make about three or four turns. Add a few drops of super glue to the end. And make another half turn. Just hold it there for about 15 seconds. When the glue is dry, cut away the remaining paper. And now cut a piece of the thin paper that is a little oops, longer than your magnet. About this size. While the magnet is still covered in the regular paper, start wrapping the thin paper around. Make a stop when you have reached one full turn. Now add just a few drops of super glue. And continue wrapping. For each half turn add another drop of super glue. Continue until you have made 3 or 4 turns and let the glue dry. Now cut away the remaining paper. And now it's time to add the copper wire. 
for this a battery powered drill could uh, come in handy but it's possible to do without. If you're using a drill pull the magnet about half a centimeter out of the uh, tube and wrap a piece of tape around it. You can use this to hold the tube while you wrap around the wire. Make a cut in the end of the tube about 2 or 3 millimeters. Now slide your wire into the slot and have an excess of about uh, 20 centimeters. Make sure to leave the loose end on the inside. And now make a few turns. Now take the loose end and fold it over a couple of times. Now you can put this into the end of the tube so you won't have problems with that when you wind the wire around. And uh, cover an area about the length of your magnet. And once you're done, add a bit of glue to the end. And you can just cover the end with a, a piece of paper. Cut the wire about 20 centimeters from the tube. And now remove the tape and the magnet. And you should be able to pull the inside piece of paper out as well. And now your coil should fit loosely over your magnet with about a millimeter of play. Now draw a circle on a piece of thin paper about the size of a solar spool or you could use a compass. And cut out the circle. And once you have your circle, make one cut from the outside to the center. Add super glue to one side of the cut. And fold it over to make a cone. And now make four cuts into the end of the tube. and fold out the pieces. Add super glue. And attach it to the center on the back side of the cone. Wait a few seconds for it to dry. And now to make the frame. Draw a circle the same size as you used for the cone. on a piece of cardboard. Increase the radius about one centimeter to one and a half centimeter and draw a new circle. And give it four legs. Now add four small pieces of tape to the frame, evenly spaced. And attach the cone, about in the middle. Now attach each wire to an old component lead or anything else conductive. And we'll need to solder it. Right. 
So here it is, all finished up and uh, everything left to do is a little test. So I have hooked up a signal generator. And it is indeed working. So let's test the music quality. So I just had to do one modification. I have uh, removed about 3 millimeters of the turnings of the wire because the speaker wasn't very loud and I am using very very fine wire so the resistance was too high and that's why the speaker was so low. But anyway I hope you liked the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, see ya!